welcome to QLab. Today's video we're going to be starting a new series and we're going to be looking at static electricity. Now we come across static in lots of different ways in life. If you ever rubbed a balloon on your head and seen the hair start to stand on end or blew across there or got a little shock from someone when they touched you and you'd be like oh a little spark. Well that's due to static electricity. Now, this is just going to be an introduction and we'll look at the basics, but before we get into what it exactly is and how it works, let's do a little experiment to see some. So, I've got a PVC tube here, just a simple piece of tubing, and this is not because it's cold, it's because it's wool. I've got a nice wool blanket, and if I rub the wool blanket along this tube, then I can start to build up static electricity and we'll see what it can do to these materials on the table. So, let's just charge it up a little bit. There we go, that should be good enough. Now, if I just bring it close to these pieces of foil, you might notice something. It's attracting oh, the pieces of foil. So as the pipe passes over the foil, you can see that the foil is moving. Look, that one's actually stuck to it. So there's this force of attraction between them. It's behaving a little bit like a magnet, isn't it? Put the pieces of metal attracted to this, but this is plastic, it's not metal. So we're not dealing with something exactly the same as a magnet. Now I want you to see what it's going to do to these little pieces of paper. And I've put them in nice little shapes, so we've got some butterflies and some birds on there, because they like to fly of course. Let's see what happens. Now I'm just going to bring it close to the piece. See how they're moving up? There. Ooh. They're being attracted up to the pipe. As the pipe comes over the paper, we can see that similar behaviour that we had with the foil. Look, some of them are stuck to it. And they move without me having to touch them. There's something causing an attraction between this PVC pipe and these little pieces of paper or foil. No, I can't get any pieces of foil to pick it. Oh, almost. So why is this happening? What's making this occur? Well, we'll have a good look. Now, before we start thinking about what static electricity actually is, we have to remember a few things about atoms. Now, can you remember anything about the structure of the atom? Because we have neutrons in the nucleus, and they're neutral. So that's quite easy to remember. Neutrons are neutral. They have no charge. But then we have protons, these red ones, and they're positive. They have a positive charge. They're an important one to remember. And then, outside, orbiting these neutrons and protons in the nucleus, we have electrons. And they're negative. Now, this is a very simple picture of the atom. But it helps us to remember or think about where static electricity comes from. So how is this related to our cloth and pipe? Well, both of these things are made from atoms. So we can think about what's happening to the atoms in the cloth and the atoms in the pipe. Now if you know a lot about atoms, you might realise that these are very simple models. 
because really this is a picture of an atom for helium-4. And of course the cloth and the pipe aren't made out of helium. But this is just a simple picture of what's going on. So, as the cloth rubs across the pipe, it loses some electrons. And so what happens to the cloth? Well, if we have a look at the atom now for the cloth, it has two positively charged things in the nucleus and one negatively charged thing orbiting. So it's got more positive things. So overall, the cloth becomes positive. Now on the other side of the pipe, it gains electrons as the cloth rubs over it. And so if we look now, it's got more electrons than it has protons. And so it's going to be negative. And that means we have the positive cloth and the negative pipe. And that's all static electricity is. It's the separated charges. So having that positive and negative separated. And when you get that little shock, or something like when you touch someone, that's normally the negative and the positive coming together very quickly to discharge, resulting in something that's overall neutral. So, we've seen what static electricity is, very basic way, but why does the pipe attract paper or foil, as we saw? Well, like charges, so charges that are the same repel each other. It's a bit like when you take two magnets and you point the north ends at each other. They push away from each other, don't they? So, as that negative pipe comes close to those bits of paper, can you remember the negative particle in the atoms? The electron, that's right. The electrons in the paper are pushed away. So the paper becomes a little bit positive. Because as those electrons are pushed away, well, now there are more protons. So the paper is just a little bit positive. Now, opposite charges attract. Just like when you point the south end of a magnet to the north end of another magnet. Oh, they whiz together really quickly, don't they? Well, that's exactly what happens with opposite charges. So the paper sticks to the pipe. And that's why, or how, they attract. And it's, that's why I called this video Irresistible Attraction. Because you can't stop it. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to see how we can store lightning in a bottle. If you like this one, I'll put a couple of our other physics videos up around here. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.